welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome here. My name is Fonar Josefina and I thought I'd make a video for you guys based on a comment I received in one of my other videos. Um, that other video was my birth trauma story and I've just had a lot of people, a lot of moms reach out and just say um, that they had similar stories or they had traumatic births themselves. And one comment I received that kind of broke my heart was that she said that she, um, because she had a traumatic birth, that she wasn't able to breastfeed. And that was kind of the similar story for me in the beginning. The first two months, um, my son Woods, Woods was bottle fed for the first two months of his life because I had a traumatic birth. I was in the ICU, he was in the um, NICU, and by the time he got out, he was just had already been kind of learning how to bottle feed so we just kept on bottle feeding but I really had a desire to breastfeed so this is kind of our story and journey on how he went from bottle feeding to breastfeeding and this is kind of the journey on, on how I did that I first want to say however um, you feed your baby is what's best if it's bottle fed breast fed formula fed um, breast milk fed um, you are a great mama and just keep doing what you're doing so starting your story um, in the hospital he was in the hospital for two weeks and I was in the hospital for about the same time. Again, he was in the NICU, I was in the ICU, and I was on a lot of blood pressure medications. So I couldn't really give him any of my breast milk in the beginning anyway. So he was on the hospital breast milk that they gave him. And then I had a donor who donated their breast milk um, for him. Um, by the time I was off blood pressure medication, um, I was pumping and giving him the bottle. And I really wanted to transition. And when I left the hospital, they said I had a 50-50 chance um, basically of, of transitioning to um, breastfeeding him. So the first thing hands down that I would invest in if you were a mama and you were wanting to transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding is I would buy something called a nipple shield. This is the Medela brand. I'll use it right here. I'll let you sit right there. So this is a nipple shield. Usually um, you use them for people who have inverted or fat nipples, but I used it to train him to take the breast. Um, because if obviously you can see he was trained these are the bottles they gave us in the NICU this is obviously a very plasticky feeling bottle and this is a similar texture to it obviously so he really took to the nipple shield whenever I used it so this was huge and this was a big key on transitioning from the bottle to the breast this you can just buy on Amazon I'll leave this link down below but it comes with a little case and I would recommend buying multiple of these so you're not constantly washing the one that you have um, so I'd recommend getting like five or six of these. But basically what you want to do is you want to kind of like um, push the tip of it in like that. Push the tip of it in, place it um, on top of your nipple, and then pull this little nipple area out. And it'll sit right on top of your nipple. And then the milk will pool into here. Another thing that this does is it helps with pain. So if you've ever talked to a breastfed mama, I mean, it, breastfeeding can be extremely painful because latches can be wrong or something like that. It helped protect um, my body um, just from him and hi baby. Yeah, I know. So the nipple shield is a lifesaver. One thing about the nipple shield is it was hard for me to have a letdown. With a bottle, obviously the baby's getting the milk right away. So the problem with, um, at first when I was transitioning, um, the problem was, was that he was getting a little bit frustrated because he would latch, but there'd be no milk because I wasn't having a letdown yet. The baby has to learn patience for about 30 seconds to a minute um, in order for the mom to have a letdown. And so he'd get frustrated with that. Hey, hey, hey. So what I would do to kind of like trick my body to having a letdown quicker and faster was I put my nipple shield on the side that I was going to breastfeed him on and then I put my breast pump on the other side. And I have a um, Spectra. It just sat by my bedside and I would hook up that and I would turn my breast pump on and it would start pumping and then I'd, my body would have a letdown and when it would have a letdown I would latch my son on the other side. So kind of like a bottle he was getting instant um he was getting pot what is it called positive reinforcement he's getting it right away because otherwise you have to train them to kind of be patient and then they don't want to do that um so anyway so we did that um we started that probably about a little bit after he was a month and a half old and then there was another learning curve because I didn't want to keep using the nipple shield all the time although it is fantastic and I do know a mom that used a nipple shield up until our kid was like nine months old because he was a biter. So this will also protect you from kids that have um, um, a biting problem, yet you do sometimes. Sometimes you do and you got two teeth. So 
it can protect you from that but I didn't want to constantly be um, washing these and hauling these around so my next kind of learning curve was transitioning from the um, nipple shield to no nipple shield so for that I actually went to a lactation consultant because he was having a really hard time um, latching just to my skin and that was kind of a learning curve for both of us and it took us I thought it would be a little bit quicker because we were using the nipple shield it was going great oh one thing I will also say about the nipple shield is it can make babies kind of gassy because the milk um, pools in the tip part and it can leave little like bubbles air bubbles you want this you want the bottle here try this if you wouldn't get frustrated I would keep trying to latch him um, as long as he wasn't getting frustrated. If he got really, really frustrated, I just, I put the nipple shield on and, um, and just let him feed that way. So again, he was still getting the positive reinforcement. But I went to a lactation consultant and um, we figured out that he had an upper tie. So not a tongue tie, but, but an upper tie. And she gave me some like um, massages. She said to kind of like circle around his lip like this, massage it before we start feeding. Um, and so that really helped. Um, I also have, um, if you guys know what a slacker boob is, I didn't know that until after I had him, but a slacker boob is basically a boob that produces less milk. And my lactation consultant said, latch him on your slacker boob because at, um, when you have a letdown, um, he won't choke on it as much. So that's what I did. I always latched him on my slacker boob. If he was still hungry, I would flip him over and then feed him on that breast. So that took a time to kind of transition. I think the hardest part about it was it was painful. You're gonna go night night with dad. Good night. Oh, hey. mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Go night. -night. Yeah. Honestly, he transitioned really well because it all has to do with positive reinforcement. So finding a nipple um, that was the texture of the bottle um, and then giving him, the, giving him the positive reinforcement of receiving the milk right away, just like a bottle. But one huge um, advice, piece of advice that I got from my pediatrician before I even saw the lactation consultant, she said, try breastfeeding him and that's just that's just the normal thing just try breastfeeding him and as soon as he gets fussy just give him the bottle we're just trying to get an association and that really helped every time um and this is when i was still trying to transition to the to the nipple shield from the bottle um every time we try to breastfeed at night and uh, at night or during the day the first thing i would try to do was latch him um, to me first and it was unsuccessful for a couple of times but then he slowly started to associate it especially after I started incorporating my breast pump to force my body to have a let down right away because he didn't really care where the milk was coming from as long as he was honestly getting fed but I hope this is really encouraging it all has to do basically with association so do not think that just because um, you're you didn't breastfeed right away um, that you're that there's just no hope there is completely hope for you again I didn't start exclusively breastfeeding till probably but he was two two and a half months old we started the process and the journey at like a month and a half but it took us a good like month to be exclusively like breastfed and he's six and a half months now and actually he has a hard time going back to the bottle he doesn't like the bottle so I hope that's encouraging for you. See a lactation consultant. They can be quite expensive, but I think I only went once. I only went once and then um, I went another time, but it was for a different issue. It wasn't to help him transition. Um, but I went once and she taught me a lot of things I had no idea about. She taught me how to side lay um, on the bed and breastfeed, but it was one of the best things I ever did because otherwise I'd be waking up at night, feeding the bottle and then pumping. As soon as I transitioned to breastfeeding, it was just so nice because I could just side lay, feed him, um, put him back in his bassinet and then just fall asleep. And it was just so wonderful. I hope this is encouraging for you guys. Again, don't think just because your baby is a couple months old that it's just not gonna happen for you. It can happen for you. I knew someone, um, or I heard of someone, it's one of my sister's friends, she started breastfeeding at six months old after using the bottle for six months, which is crazy. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys because I, again, no matter how you feed your baby, fed is best. But I know there are mamas out there, kind of like me, who had a traumatic birth, or maybe not. Um, just, you know, maybe they just started bottle feeding and that's just what took and that was just what was easiest and help the baby and you sleep through the night and that's okay too, but maybe you want to transition to breastfeeding. And so this video is for you guys. If you have any questions, 
please, please leave me down in the description box below. I had a ton of questions and I didn't really have anyone who had a story like me personally that I knew. So I didn't know who to ask things to. So if you have questions, please leave them in the description box below. But that's all I have for you guys. I love you guys all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.